Tom playing both characters, that's been something very special to watch. It's amazing, firstly looks wise, how him and the makeup have together created the subtle differences. It's actually astounding, he really does look like both of them. Right from the get-go, we wanted to make sure that we kind of gave a different look to each one of them. Vegetable was kind of him, just more expressionable, sort of a bit warmer. He's got to be the love interest of the film. Not being funny here, but the thought of your mum answering that door is a bit shocking. Ron, we sort of played about with dropping his hairline a bit to kind of round up his face. Powered him up just to kind of make them look a little bit more sinister. I've had a prosthetic piece made for his mouth that sits inside here. It's all about making him bigger. A toast! to my beautiful brother, home at last. What they're achieving with camera use and the cinematography of it has been incredible. But also Tom and, and, and how he's managing to build a fraternal relationship with himself. You're not afraid of anything. Yeah. You're only myself, you know. And you. Yeah. We'd rehearse it until we had it nailed and then we would record Ron and when we shot Reggie, we would play Ron's dialogue back in Tom's ear so he could, he could react to himself and he could, over, he could interrupt himself, which brought it alive. Oh, we were talking about being gangsters, right? Which is what we are. Don't. Reggie's performance very much would establish what the scene was and then Ron would have to come in and kind of duck and dive around that. It was so full on, everyone's putting in their input at how to make this illusion work. And there were so many opportunities there to see behind the curtain that that is the same person. It was how to make that alive so it wouldn't become a gimmick. And then I had to incorporate our ensemble and our team so that it was alive for everybody. Don't so you ever speak to Francis yeah, again? That's right, Francis. Blood is thicker than water. <laughs> but forget all of the technical stuff. If the actor hadn't been able to pull off being two completely different people, then it wouldn't have worked. He gives his life to, to the film. He gives his life to the characters. The way he can do it and the way he approaches it, I think they're more important to him than he is. I've been around a lot of good actors, but I've never seen that level of commitment. And what he gets back is this incredible performance. Listen to yourself, Ron. You're fucking nuts! People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Tom will come in as Reggie and then we'll shoot the scene with him as Reggie and then he'll go away for an hour and come back as Ron and it's unbelievable, like the transformation is ridiculous. To the point that I, when he's doing a scene as Reggie, I'm just like so comfortable and happy. And as soon as he comes in as Ron, it's always a bit like, oh, oh I don't like Ron very much. <laughs>